podcast. I'm Katie and I'm Diana and we are a mother-daughter knitting duo from Kentucky. Yes. We love to knit. Yes. We love to talk knitting. We yes. love to talk yarn. We love to talk to each other. Yes. We love to talk to you. <laughs> we just love so, talking and knitting apparently. Yes. yes. <laughs> so this is true. Yeah this is our little corner of the internet to Chat about what we've been working on. Mm -hmm. And visit. And visit, yes. Um, yeah, so this is the second episode of this year, 2024. Yes. This is February. We're filming on February 20, or February 2nd. I started to say 22nd. No, I'm not rushing it, I promise. Oh, man. But February 2nd, Groundhog We're Day. We're coming up on our one-year anniversary. I know, in March. We have to do something yeah. fun for that. Like, a, maybe Believe we could come up with some My Favorite Things and give yes. it away or something. That's a good idea. Yeah, we'll yeah. think about that and have that. Because mm -hmm. it's in March, yeah. isn't it? So. I think so. Can you believe that? I know. The whole year. I'm, like, thinking back to the first ones we did in my old living room, uh -huh. you know? Uh -huh. And, like... <laughs> and we were kind of like, okay, here we are. We're yep. just going to do it and see yep. what happens. Yep. So That was fun. That was fun. And we've gotten so many friends along the I way. Know. It's so awesome. Yes, so it fun. is. Yes. Thank you all so much for your comments on the last video. Your congratulations to me yes. for my sweet little baby on the way. Yes. And I am feeling some better. It's, you know. Touch and go. Not, yeah, it's not 100%, but, but I'm definitely is, feeling more like myself. Yes, she is. Yeah. And looking and, and like yeah. it too. But it's funny how many people said they do the same thing yes. when they are expecting. And some of our friends out there are expecting as well, yes. which is a lot yes. of fun. Yes, I love that. Yeah, like not being able to knit yes. while you're, ex like yes, especially sorry. that first trimester. Yes, first, yeah. Um, not being able to knit and knit making you feel more nauseous. Yes, so. sorry. Mm. No, yeah. Yeah. So it's, yeah, I was, I felt some solidarity. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm because, not crazy. <laughs> yes, and I didn't knit when I was mm -hmm. pregnant. My pregnant ceases. So, uh, but I was sick the first time, the whole time. Yeah. So awful. there was no way I could have been at that time. Yeah. But I, with the girls, I wasn't. Mm -hmm. So, so it's funny how that. It is. Yeah. I'm interested to see if this is a little girl or a little boy. Yes. You know, with one of mine, I wasn't sick. With the other, I was yes. sick. So it's like, and this one's kind of in the middle. Yes. So. So, and, and I can't wait to start knitting all the other. One of her sisters is also expecting, yes. and, we, and we know she is expecting a girl. Yes, we're and a week I, apart. Yeah, so, I mean, it's like babies, babies, yes. babies. So, it's so exciting. Yeah, it is exciting. Yes. We feel very blessed. Yes. And I, uh, we'll talk a, a little more about family stuff if you want after, mm -hmm. if we don't take up too much of your time yes. with our knitting talk. Yes. I, I do want to say for new, new people that have <clears throat> just come on here recently, um, we we usually put out our the episode each episode as a premiere. Okay. So yeah. when we do that, then you can watch it the the video or the podcast. I don't know what you call it is not live, uh, but the uh, the show's not live. But we are chatting live mm -hmm. about it, not in the comments. There's but there's an a, there's a box to the side while you're watching it, the first episode if you're watching it when it's first release. Mm -hmm. And so there, we usually end up with about 60 or 70 yeah. people in there chatting. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. So it is a lot of fun. And I don't think you can go back and look at those comments no. after it's posted. I don't think so. So if you want to get in on that fun, then um, the usually we, on Instagram, Katie will say, this is com this mm -hmm. a new podcast is coming up. And on YouTube, if you're subscribed, it'll send you a yes. notification that we have one coming up. And I really enjoy that. Yeah, Sometimes funny. if we're both really busy yeah. and we can't be on there live, then we won't do it as a premiere. Mm -hmm. But I don't know any other podcasters that do that. I know some of them do live Sometimes, yeah. where they're, I can't, I don't know that we could do the comments and talk. I don't know. And, yeah. yeah. So this is, it is fun to get on there and chat with people. Yes, though. it is. Yeah. I feel like it's a good balance of like, yes. Not getting caught up in, I don't like, like, like answering questions, that would be fun. But yes. like, if you're like doing a podcast and you're like talking, but then you have questions, yes. coming, I feel like the train of thought would be yes. like, ah. we, yes. so it's kind of nice to like have it recorded yes. and then we can talk about it. Yes. 
Yes. Yeah. And usually it's the first time I'm watching it. Katie's yeah. really gracious and yeah. she'll she'll watch it and then put it out there and then I get to watch it with everybody else for the first mm -hmm. time. So that's a lot of fun. Yeah. So um so if you want to join us, yeah. please do. Please do. Yeah. yeah. We love we, it. Yeah, we do. We enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Anything That's else in the admin stuff? We have uh, Instagram, the mm -hmm. Fruitful Hands. We have an email in yeah. the description below. We have uh, an address, post mm -hmm. office box. You can get to us that way if you need to. Yeah. So uh, all of that's below. We always have show notes yes. in the description and you can, that's where we'll tell you, give you all the deets on what we're wearing, what works in progress, whips, yes. and finished objects. Yeah. But feel free to leave comments, yeah. questions in the comments if yes. you have any. And we have been negligent. Yes. We had a house full this past weekend so uh, in answering comments. So usually I'll get a notification when a, when a one comes in, uh -huh. and I'll read it then. But uh -huh. I, I generally don't have time to respond. Right. So some of them will respond to here on air. But uh, right. otherwise, uh, we're going to try and get to those very soon. Yes. But yes. um, but thank and you. Sometimes it might just be a like. But yes, it will. We love we love yeah. reading your comments, yes. and it's yes. so fun to. And most people say, yeah. please don't worry about responding yeah. because we know this takes a lot of yeah. effort and time, and we Both understand. Recommendations last time. Yeah, that was awesome. That I was. need to go back through. There were some. And write somebody them down. suggested like it was like a mystery of like a. Knitting. Yes. 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 yes, yes. She knits, yes. and she's like, so I need to look into that. Yes. I haven't been able to yes. but I was like okay y'all are awesome yes or like the British humor yes like do yeah. you all read like actual hard you know paper paper mm. copies of books or do you do it on a Kindle or do you listen yeah. which is your favorite I generally listen oh I so I don't like to listen to stuff when my kids are awake yes. and like with, well I mean like some of the stuff is yes, fine and they can listen sense. to like I don't listen I'm happy for them to yes. hear what I'm listening yes. to. Yes, yes. But, yeah. like, you know, I just want to yes. be available and, like, yes. not, I don't want to have your pods in. Yes. I don't want to, yes. I don't want Anyway, so yes. I typically read a book. And her littles will sit down and read Yeah, read they'll books pick out too. books, too. It's very sweet. She'll so. send pictures of the, is he 18 months old? <laughs> yeah. Now? And he'll be there with the book and he, he's reading out loud. Yeah, he's reading so. out loud. It's really sweet. It's really sweet. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's so sweet. They won't do that forever. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, okay. So anyway, yeah, I yeah. do hard copy, but you okay. do audio. I do audio, mm -hmm. but books that I'm, like nonfiction books, I do uh, paper. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. See, and I would do audio, like, before I nap or going to sleep, but yes. then I would lose my place. Yes. Because I would fall, I fall I just asleep read, so easily. I just, oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. I just re, you know, re go back a few chapters. Oh yeah. So I'm listening to the same chapters. Yeah. When that I, bothers me. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Not so much me. With age. No. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Okay. Tell us what you're wearing. Oh well. Okay. This is a oldie but a goodie. Yes. My it is. lion sweater by Petite Knit. The yes. The collar. You know, you pick up the collar afterwards. And then it is a, I think it's called a contiguous sleeve where you, you know, knit down, knit down, and then you do the sweater. Like it's the beautiful. The fit of it is really uh -huh. probably one of my favorites. I love raglans. This is my first one like this, and I really love the fit. And it what's in it? Oh, the line. It it really well. I think the April cardigan might be also, uh -huh. I think it's shaped like this as well. So, and this is the lion sweater, and I feel like there's been more. I mean, it just looks so tailored. Yeah. You know. I'm thinking about, <clears throat> I have some, you know, like the flower crown that's like super speckled, and it's kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. It's not crazy, but it's just, you know, yeah. more colorful. I was thinking about doing another one of these just plain okay. in that. So, like, I don't know, because I've been trying to find something to use that yes. yarn for. Yes. Um, so that I have this fit again. And yes. Just, yeah. yeah, it looks anyway, really good on her. I really like it. I, I love the stripes. Yeah. Did she, did you do that or did, is it in the pattern? It's in the pattern. Okay. Yeah. And these are the exact colors she used. Almond and Sailor in the Night. It's Something, both it's Double Sunday. Night. Yeah. Double Sunday. So, yes. Did you get this at the Woolery? No. Where'd you get the Double Sunday? Do you remember? It was online. Okay. It was like, is it Woolen Company that does? Woolen Co. Maybe. Woolen Co. 
I think it was something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. Thank it looks you. like it's worn well, too. Yeah, it really, I haven't gleaned it at all. Oh. And I've worn this. I wore it a lot, and then when I was morning sick, I couldn't wear sweaters <laughs> at all. <laughs> Nothing knitting. Nothing. Like Nothing. It was, well, just because I got so warm. Yeah. Like, I yeah. like to be cool as a cucumber. Yes. So no sweaters, nothing. So now I'm finally back into, um, if I made it again, I'd make the sleeves longer. <laughs> but those look good. Yeah. Those are like bracelet length. Exactly. Like so there's nothing wrong with them. No. But yeah. You can see so, a beautiful bracelet. I just, yeah. Anyway, what are you wearing? I am finally wearing my Mauritian. It is beautiful. I love it. Yeah. Now this fits like a glove. It's what? so pretty. Yeah. Oh my word. Isn't that so pretty? Is and I can button it right here. Yes, that. that is seed stitch on the side here. And then this little lace with the cables. Listen, guys, it is so, it that is. color on you. I love it. I love it. I love it. Everything. I love it. And the buttons I just got at Joanne's, they're just little. No, Hobby, Hobby Lobby. Little they're like, cute. Yeah, like, like little shell. iridescent yeah. pearl. They're not iridescent. I mean, they're oh, not yeah. pearl, but they're iridescent yeah. looking. So, I love that. It's life in the long grass. It's life in the long grass. I got the yarn from Black Mountain. <clears throat> and I love it. Here is this pattern. Usually I use my Knit Companion. If y'all remember, I started this last year. And then I put it away in the summer because it was just... <clears throat> I loved knitting it. And I, I love that the panels in the front are different. Because it's knit flat. Yeah, then the back. Oh, yeah, okay, Because okay. it's just Sorry. plain stocking it. Sorry. Yes. But that just kept me so interested. You know? Is this DK weight? Yes. Okay. So it's, uh, it and the yarn, I love the yarn. I did yeah. not, uh, I think in the body I did, all, you know, every, so I go over mm -hmm. and back and then switch yes. yarns over and back. In the sleeves I did not. Okay. Can you tell mm -hmm. a big fat difference? No. No. So Amazing. I mean, that yeah, color is so good. I love it. I Just really, and the it. sleeves fit good. Yeah. I'll knit another one of these. Yeah, I love, really. love, love the sweater. The uh, the button bands were very easy. They're not huge. They're small, mm -hmm. so they're not. You know, some button bands are like two inches, yeah. and it's kind of like, ugh. Yeah. But this it's is so delicate. It is so delicate. Yeah. And this collar here is very easy. The whole thing is just like a very delicate sweet. Yes. And this is hers. Which is interesting. Hers. I feel like the color, your soft pink helps it look a little more delicate. Whereas oh, hers yeah. looks more like, like it's still yes. delicate, but yeah, it's yeah. a little more like everyday. I don't yes. know. Yours is everyday. Yes. But it's just very, that soft pink just makes it look so. I really love delicate. this sweater. Yeah. I love it, love it, love it. And I can't wait. I would start to wear it with a collar, and then I'm like, well, really? This shirt really goes yeah, well with it. Yeah, it looks so good. So, I like this shirt. So, I knit it on three fours and six needles. That's 3.25 millimeter, 3.5 millimeter, and a 4.4 millimeter. Mm -hmm. And I knit the size large, which is one, two, three, four, the fifth size. And it fits a 44 and a half that's what the circumference is. So I'm like a 42 and a half. So there's, this is like right spot on. Yeah. So the buttons, they do pull just a tad, but I think it's just the nature of it mm -hmm. more so than. Not much. Not, not, not a lot. lot. But y'all, this sweater. I love it. I do love it. If you want just a nice looking, you know, Sweat mm -hmm. cardigan. This is the one I'm telling you. Would you, you say in the past year this is your favorite knit you've made? One of them. Yeah. I'd have to look. Maybe we could do that. Yeah, go let's, through. Let's let me go through and yeah. look. But this one, I love the way it fits. Yeah. I love. You know, I'm I'm sad that it took me so long to finish it. Yeah. But it's okay because yeah, now it's a new sweater. Yeah. But I do. I love the lace. This is the first time I've knit a cardigan mm -hmm. with stuff going on where it's yeah. just not not just stockinette stitch. Yeah. And I really like it. Yeah. So I think cute. I'll look for some more. I do love it. So let's see if there's anything else. Uh, I love the yarn and the pattern. Isabel Kramer is the designer. And Life in the Long Grass. It's Highland Decay. And it's called uh, Pirouette. 
Mm -hmm. oh that's perfect yep and i finished it january 20th yeah love it yeah i do love it that's beautiful thank you so much mm -hmm. thank you okay so do you want me to go next yes the, okay so y'all know i haven't been actually knitting <laughs> lately but i do i have a few things to show and one of them is a sweater i actually finished six years ago for my husband and I wanted to show it for a few different reasons. First, I haven't even shown it on the podcast before. Uh, not at all, ever. Uh -huh. um, so I I honestly can't remember. It was in a magazine. I think oh. it was a Knitting Vogue okay. magazine, maybe. And I really, this sweater was a lot of fun to make. Um, it was bottom oh, nice. up. Look at all this cable. I don't yeah. know that you oh, can yeah. really see that. So, okay, yeah, there are a few things going on. There's three color Okay, three colors only right here, but two two color color work, cables up here, and it's a worsted weight yarn. And I made it in Cascade 220. Oh my goodness. So a few things about if you're going to knit a significant other a sweater. Yes. Worsted weight is a very heavy yarn. Yes. I don't know if most men run warmer or not. I don't know if that's a yeah. true thing. But um, if my husband When he gets does, older, he'll appreciate it. Yeah, exactly. But I knit, so it's worsted weight, cables, yeah. and color work. This thing is bulky. Yeah. So it's a, you know, it has to be like. Maybe y'all could go to Alaska or yeah, something. Yeah, I think, I mean, he'd love to do that. So, <laughs> so it's like, it is a very, I don't even yeah. know if I could it's wear it. It's very warm, heavy yeah, sweater. You would, it's like, he has to wear it when it's like 20 or under and no jacket or anything yeah. with it. Well, so, you know. So, but I'm just saying, if you're going to make a sweater for, yeah. you know. A male husband or in your life consider weighted yard i'd say like yeah. dk is a good weight yes color work is good but just know that's it's gonna heavy. double up yeah and then cables also yes so maybe a sporter dk yeah sporter dk yeah. and then like like i know the crayabea came out with like the alder sweater that uh -huh. has like some it's not cables but it's like knit pearl stitches that uh -huh. are you know Make it interesting up here and yes, then plain. Like mosaic? Yeah, maybe. Okay. No, no, it's no. like one color. Okay. But it's like knit, like it's it's not seed, but it's like oh, okay. anyway. So that's just I don't you you weren't asking, but I'm just yeah. <laughs> Well, those are things you don't really think yeah. about, especially he, when you're first knitting. Yes. It's like, oh yeah. Yeah, because this was six years ago and it was like when I was first getting back into it, and all I thought was big needles uh -huh. and some fun stuff to and big do. yarn and this big will be yarn. Fast. Yeah. And it was. <laughs> well, no, it wasn't. <laughs> but, um, and I love, it was a joy to knit. I had to redo one of the sleeves because. Um, That's really pretty. Up. Yeah, I, it was, it was really fun. Look at that. Just all consider, the way around the yoke. Yes. Just uh, take into consideration those things yeah. before you start. That's good advice. Yes. And yeah. he he wears it when he can. Yeah. You know, but it is, I don't know, I don't know if I could It's been it. warm here. I, I think probably yeah. most of the country has it warmed up last, probably Wednesday, Thursday, and then it was pretty warm. Yeah. All week. Like today, my kids were playing outside. Yeah. So we're going to play outside again this afternoon. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Because somebody said it's supposed to be colder maybe towards the middle to late oh. February. Which I don't mind because then I can get all my other good yeah. sweaters out because I haven't really worn any of my heavy mm -hmm. sweaters. Um, DK is like as heavy yes. as I go these days. Yeah. yeah. I don't know about you. But. Uh, sometimes I can go heavier, mm -hmm. but generally not because we have a fireplace and oh, we have yeah. fire going and blah, blah, blah. Okay, I do have another finished object. Yay! And this is the J Jason's cashmere. Oh, and as you can tell, it's very small. Hey. I think I didn't make enough cables so i thought this could be for you know who yeah little oh boy oh he needed God. another one he so does he so i knit this Aww. one he will love it he will love it that is really isn't cute. that cute yes. so i'm gonna knit another one i've knit several of those and mm -hmm. i can wear it and Aww. one of my girls was like oh mom that's cute uh -huh. but it's like uh it doesn't look real good on me oh. so i'll knit another one yeah. so i knit these on the twist chago twist eights and then I used double points to finish the top. Nice. It was a fast, quick knit. I need mean, maybe that maybe that's what I need. Yeah, just, just a little yeah. hat. Something not super heavy. This is Rowan Super Wash. I wonder if that's the right side. They can read that when I hold I that think, up. I think, mm, or is know. it backwards? Okay, it's Rowan Pure Wool Super Wash Worsted. 
And did you use one skein? Yeah. Oh. I mean, I still, this is how much I have left from it. <gasps> oh, yeah. so you could probably get Yeah, I could get like, the next time I'll put like probably two, two or three more cables in it. Yeah. Yeah. But you could I do color could. work with that. Mm -hmm. I've got some more of this color and I've got some gray. It was on sale. Cute. I got that at Stitch Yarn Studio and I think it was half off. Mm. So it's about $7, 7 $8 Ooh. a ball. Yeah. So, That's and awesome. it's super wash. I love getting stuff on yeah. sale. Yeah. It's yeah. like they're giving it to you. Yeah. My husband doesn't believe Basically. that. <laughs> but that's what I feel like yeah. sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Do you have any other finished objects? I do not have any other finished okay. objects. I didn't know if do you'd you? Have, no, no. <laughs> I don't know if you'd have that one. Yeah. No, because there's yeah. a story. Oh, dear. Yeah. Yeah. So I only have like one whip that I'm going to talk about. Okay. So if you want to go ahead and okay. talk about Okay, I have something. two more whip. Okay. Oh, and then I have one that I swatched for and one okay. that I'm thinking about. <gasps> oh, that's so fun. Yeah, so we'll see. Okay, this okay. is my anthology throw. And um, someone asked how long it takes me to do uh, yeah, like a thousand, a thousand yeah. stitches. I mean, it's almost 1,200. And um, usually, like, if I if it's one of the lace rows, it's probably 45, 40, 45 minutes, maybe not that long. And if it's just a knit row, probably, I don't know, 20. Some, because mm -hmm. I take a lot of breaks. Yeah. So I, I don't let it. Yeah. You no, know, I just kind of, so this one, I just kind of do my thing. I don't let, I don't feel pressured mm -hmm. to get this done and that done. Yeah. So this is the one, the yarn I'm working on. This is the next one, and then this is what I'm going to finish it with. Oh, that's cute. Isn't that cute? Yeah, I like Look. that. See, you'll have that little pop. So this whole, all the yarn except the very last one is front. This one is Sonder yarn. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's yet. All the rest of this is that Advent from Sweet Skein of Mine. That's Isn't beautiful. it gorgeous? So this is the center. This is the Advent Anthology. And then Look it will, like, circle out. Yeah, it'll it circle out. And somebody had a really good idea. They said to fold it in half when you block it. And then you don't have such a big circle. Oh, because of a crease. Well, you could kind of probably, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, I mean, okay, I am going to tell you. That's all right. Yeah, she <laughs> popped that bubble, didn't she? Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. We, we'll yeah, see. I, I can always. I'll do it again. Yeah, do it again. Yeah. Listen, so. Okay, this row right here, where you see all the yarn overs, knit one yarn overs. Okay, up until that point, you have 550 some stitches, I think. And then after, when you're doing all those yarn overs, then you move up to like 11, 1200 stitches. Well, the first three times that I yarned over and did that and then went into the lace, the first time when I got to the end, it I didn't come out with a complete repeat mm -hmm. so I just kind of finagled and made and then when I came back around I could tell my lace work was off for the oh. ripple for the points so I went back below the yarn overs to get my double double the stitches and picked up on that row below that the right leg of every stitch okay and I pulled it back not a big deal sometimes though I catch a wrong stitch and I'd have to work tink back mm -hmm. and and do so, I mean, it, you know, so then the next time I figured out all the numbers, I think. So I did it and I thought I was doing really good. And then I got to, I went around once and then I started going back around a second time. And some of them I had decreased double. And so, you know, it was not going to be oh, good. Lord. So the third time after mm -hmm. ripping back, I went through the repeat is every 12. So I put these and I know to do that yeah you do know I that. know to do you that. Suggested that I have suggested that yeah. actually so <laughs> this is one of those do as I say not as I do because had I done that the mm -hmm. first time through this would have been finished by now but as you can tell it's it is see the the uh, ripples they're starting to come together mm -hmm. so this hopefully will be finished by the next podcast and maybe blocked. We'll see. Mm -hmm. So do you yeah. see that? Yeah. So, so this will be the valley and then there will be a point okay. up here. Yes. yes. So I have loved, this has been the funnest knit because you just don't think. And yeah. I, and the other thing I didn't have to think about was I did it in the order of the yarn. I opened the yarn. Yes. 
so the there was no color. you know color i just did it the way so i like that it was That's like there so was pretty. no decisions it was just yes. like have you sewn in the like it? no <laughs> i've kind of uh, woven some of them oh, in, yeah. knitted as I went. I've dropped stitches a few times, mm -hmm. and if you know how that goes, that's like working a jigsaw I puzzle. I don't even want to think about it. So, I love it. I've <laughs> loved knitting it. I will probably knit another one. Oh, yeah. Nice. Maybe with another advent. I yeah. did like getting an advent. Well, and like knowing you have a project you can make it out of, yes. it changes everything. And Amber from A Lovely Yarn, she did a really cute, uh, I think it was a scarf or shawl or something. Mm. It's really cute. Okay. So, yeah. So, there's several things out there you can do with yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, awesome. Yeah. I really love it. Nice. Yeah. That's cute. We'll see what I do with it. Yes. Some people have it on their bed, and some people, they kind of turn down a little bit and then, you know, wrap it around. Uh -huh. So, we'll see. That's so fun. It may be. And so, I was thinking I could even, like, get my son to get me a long piece of wood mm -hmm. out of the woods you know and kind of clean it up some and then just drape it over it and hang it on the wall that would be cool that be cute? yeah that would be fun so you should yeah. do that I, I may do that yeah because i do love it well, you could switch it up yes. wear a little yeah bit in the that's summer right. hang it up. that's right mm -hmm. i would just have to make sure if i'm hanging it somewhere that i kind of change it every mm -hmm. so often so it doesn't get you know yeah yucky yeah exactly okay um so i've done like two or three rows on this but mm -hmm. i remembered this and wanted to work on it okay. um, this is my sunset boulevard sweater and by caitlin it. hunter so are you just uh knitting in the round right now or are you yeah so i i would i typically like to start a sleeve before uh -huh. i finish the oh, body yeah. which is normally a good thing so cute. i know i'm using the ends of this barber cord to clog my like Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's smart. <laughs> so she doesn't drop her right. sleeves. Um, so I already, I started this sleeve, but I have color work on the sleeve. Oh. So I've got two balls of yarn here, and then I've got one ball of yarn going okay. here. So it's kind of annoying. Like, yeah. it's, I, I made this more fiddly than it needed to be. Yes. Um, but I wanted to get a sleeve done uh -huh. for some reason. Well, you could roll this ball up and maybe put it up oh, in the body. That's a good idea. Yeah, I do that sometimes. Yeah. That's, I'll do that. And maybe even attach it to the needle and then stick the stopper on it. Oh. And that way it'll oh, just be on stay there. there. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do that. That's a good idea. Mom. That's beautiful. So this is, they're all magpie colors. Uh, except for this plain gray is an Emma color. And so. that, those are super wash, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. They're the cashmere. They're the Marino. swanky sock. Yeah. So I it's think it's super wash yeah. cashmere. This is so soft. Yeah. It's so soft. I just felt like this was a good one to work on right now because it's yeah the color work breaks up the knitting because somebody else mentioned this the knitting is too repetitive yes and that's what kind of makes you nauseous because okay. it's like so it's almost like being on the sea where it's like you're yeah. rocking oh yeah I don't know so <laughs> the color work is kind of helpful where I have to look at the pattern yeah and then switch colors and, yes you know I, I can't get too steady about it the funny thing is I remember. Uh, the last time you were expecting mm -hmm. and uh, we were on our way to Black Mountain and we knew you were pregnant Yes, and she bought some yarn and then on the way home she's like oh no what if I can't what if I don't get my I knitting mean, mojo back yes I'm like oh you will get your knitting it, mojo back so I had to put that yarn in a closet because like the smell of it you know there's this unique smell to it I couldn't like could not handle it so I had to put it in the closet I think it took about six months after he was born, uh -huh. probably longer before I could like look at it and I'm knitting with it now. <laughs> <laughs> Finally got to it, but yeah, ooh, that visceral, was, yes. of, yeah, yeah, of, yeah, yeah. Bless crazy. your body. So that's my only whip I wanted to talk about. <laughs> well, but you're whipping. <laughs> yes. Well, kind of. Yeah. Okay. This is a Saturday shrug Cute. by Jackie Rose or from mm -hmm. Katie Jack Knits. And uh, yeah, I really like yeah, it. Yeah, those are fun. Let These, this me. are this is Emma's yarn, worsted wool. Nice. And I got this at Black Mountain the last time I was there. This is Lady Lavender and Just Add Salt. Hmm. So it's very bright. Yeah. But it's a very. I added. I, I actually added twenty extra stitches because this yarn is not real chunky. Mm-hmm. 
So smart. Yeah. yeah. So. I like that combo. I do too. Yeah. And fun. I really wish, I don't have enough, I didn't have enough to make like a vest or sweater mm -hmm. out of it. So I thought I would do that. And then I'll have leftover. I'll make some hats and stuff. Nice. I've seen a lot of those Manhattan hats. Yeah. I really want to get that pattern and yes. make that because it's really cute. Yes. I've definitely been eyeing that one. Okay. What else you got? Uh, nothing to show. Okay. I will like, I have this. Okay. I remember, but we're not. Okay. Yet. You can yeah. show. Okay. I'll this do. one I swatched. <laughs> Because I finished this, I wanted another. Yes. So this is a Winter Beach Cardi pattern by Andrea Mowry. Yeah. Um, let's see if I can find it on here. I know where it is. Uh, and I really love this pattern. I love the color of this yarn. Mm -hmm. I've got uh, Hedgehog Fibers. Let's see. Okay. This is on my knitting. Oh, let me. Sorry. Oh. Okay. This is Yay. it. Winter Beach that. Cardi by Andrea Mowry. I will probably make it a little bit. I don't know. That looks yeah. long. It's not cropped. Yeah. And I'm using it. Hedgehog Fibers. That's what she used. Right? It is what yeah. she used. And this is a moss stitch, believe it or not. Nice. And you're supposed to be getting 19 stitches to the to four inches. So on the first, I this down here is was recommended needles, uh -huh. and I wasn't getting 19. I was getting 20 something. Okay. So this up here went up, and I'm getting 19. Okay. But I'm gonna block it to make sure. Yes. Oh, but yeah. this is this is the. I love that That's color. so pretty. It's so pretty. Yeah, I like that. So I did this last night. So Yay. we'll see. Yeah, I think I I'll like do that. that. I really yeah, do the like moss it. stitch. I am. Yeah. Is the moss stitch and the seed stitch the same or no? I don't know. I don't either. I forget. I think. I, I think, think one so. is like two rows as one stitch and two rows as the other, mm -hmm. and the other is one in one. I think. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I think I did this right. I don't know. I'll look again just to make sure. But I really love this color. I looked at the pattern. There's some things in there. It's like, oh man, I, this is gonna be a little technical. Mm -hmm. So, but that's, that's good. Okay. That's it good is you. good. It makes my brain pay attention. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, like I, like with the anthology throw, I thought I knew what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I actually had to pull back three times because one time when I was doing it, I realized after the second start over on the ripple part uh -huh. that I was not you have to do something with two stitches and then do something with the third and then pass those. Uh, and and I had it. not passed over. Uh, so read the pattern <laughs> for me about 10 it. times, even if you think you know it, mm -hmm. and yes. then walk through it slowly mm -hmm. and then and make sure. look back and see yes. if it looks right. I do like putting those stitch markers yeah. every repeat. That's I mean, smart. that's a lot, yeah. but... You know, it took me probably an extra 20 minutes mm -hmm. to do it and put one on. Do you right. put one on? But, I mean, it would have saved it. me. Yeah. It would have saved me. Yeah. Because I would have realized that I had an extra stitch because I didn't get rid of... You didn't just... Mean, well, because your lace pattern was off. Yeah. And you can't do that. So, mm. so I, hopefully I've learned a lesson. Yeah. yeah. Probably not. Yeah. But hopefully I've learned a lesson. Yeah. Yeah. So show us what you have. Yes, so this was a gift from Mama. <laughs> so Mama got the Homespun House Advent. Yes, the socks. Sock set. Yeah, so, so every Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. yeah, sorry. No, no, good. That's good. I She opened a new one. And this one, I, I had little hands get a hold of this. <laughs> um, this is the Twinkling Lights. I think it was the second one. Uh, it was. Um, I saw that and I was like, that is so beautiful. This is a little Stellina, you know, the mini is Stellina. Uh -huh. I should have saved it, put it in your stocking or bag. Well, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I get to knit a pair of socks out of this when I'm uh -huh. feeling up to it, and I'm super excited. I did see who said that. They were knitting socks. I can't remember. It was somebody's podcast. And they used the Chagu twist sets and they put you know this the fixed small nine inch they're mm -hmm. too much they're too small for them right so they use the twist and they put the smaller the, like the two inch on the left 
and the three inch one on the right, and then they can knit their socks like that. On nine inch? Well, they're right. not nine inch. They're a little bigger probably oh. than nine inch. Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. Oh. I didn't. I don't know how long that shortest uh -huh. cord is. But somehow that helps them. Yeah. Because I know sometimes when I'm knitting with, I think it was color work. And it might have been Summer Lee. Oh, uh-huh. I think it was yeah. Summer Lee. I'm so, nice. Yeah. And she has a new book out. I, Did you see that? I haven't seen it, but I've heard it. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I would like to, you know. Mm-hmm. Take a look at that. Take a look at that. Yeah. But I do love her socks. I love all the colors she uses. Mm hmm And so... Um, one thing I did want to mention really quick yes. is, so, uh, what is the name of it? Oh, yeah. Is it Meg Roke Knits? Uh, Meg Roke Gorky Knits? I don't know. Um, we'll put it in the description yes. below. Here's her Instagram name, but she, so my kids absolutely love El Noon. Like, we read it like, every night. My son reads it. During the day, always. Yes. In always his own English, sweet way. Al Moon, Al Moon. Like, it's almost a chant now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who, yes. Yeah. So she's coming out with, I think it's 12 different patterns for different children's, children's literature. And mm -hmm. so the first one was Al Moon. I'm hoping when I get feeling better, able to knit, I'm going to make these little, and you can go through her page to see these yeah. better. But, we'll put it down below, so make yes. sure you look there. So, um, but she's doing mitten patterns for them, and they are the well cutest. for this. Some of them are different. Not, oh, not mittens? mittens. Oh, I think that's what she said. Okay, I think. Yeah, accessories. Oh, yeah. If I'd known that, I would have pre-ordered. Because oh. I think if you ordered it in the month of January, you got yes. it for a, a huge discount uh -huh. than if you buy them individually. Yes, but that's okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so it's like the first of, like, yeah, you can buy the patterns individually, and they come out the. At the beginning of each month. Okay. I think. So, anyway. Al Moon. Yes, Al Moon. <laughs> yeah. That's a sweet. Mm -hmm. That would be a good children's gift. That yes. book. Like, yes. And then a little pair of mittens with mm -hmm. it. That would be sweet. Yeah, I know a lot of people expecting so many of you. That will yes. be Yes. That would be a good thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have shown you this yarn before. So pretty. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. I got this at the Woolery. And it is... Uh, Jagger spun or Jagger spun spinners of natural fiber since 1898, Springville, Maine is where they're from. This is called Zephyr. It is 50% wool and 50% silk. It's 100 grams. It has 1,120 yards in this, and it's called Rapture Rose. So, last year, you remember the big craze with the lento? Yes. Okay. Where did I? I am going to, I think, I'm hoping, I really don't like when I put mohair in the whole yeah. sweater because it makes me itchy. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but it just does. So I tried Surrey. I have tried Surrey. Oh, oh no. But uh, oh, I'm just, it just, I don't know. Yeah, it's too fluffy. It's too fluffy. I don't like, but this is the lento. See that? And it's knit, it's small yarn, knit at a big gauge. Mm -hmm. So this is, so, what I think I'm going to do, and look in here and see. Let's see what it calls for. It The gauge is 15 stitches to 4 inches, and you they're holding two, uh, they're holding a merino single mm -hmm. and uh, a, oh. like a alpaca silk. Both of those are lobby enemies. Mm -hmm. They're holding that together, or approximately, I would need about a thousand yards of whatever I'm using. So, what I think I'm going to do is hold try it. hold these double, but actually hold them triple yeah. to yeah. see if I can get it. Yay. And wouldn't that be that would just be wool so and pretty. silk? So, I think, I think that'll be a yes. good spring color. Mm -hmm. The only thing is uh, navigating three strands while knitting. But I'm going to cake them up Yeah, and see if anybody has any good ideas on that. I've heard of people doing them together uh, i don't know but i feel like yeah but i think i've heard horror stories of people doing that with mohair and okay well you know uh -huh. what i mean like one is more stretchy than the other okay. so i'm wondering if since all of these are the same i wonder if you could cake them each up and then do them together mm -hmm. and then you know put them all three together and just 
spin those. Mm -hmm. Or don't spin them, cake them up. Yeah. See what you think. Yeah, let cake us them know. One cake them up into one big cake. Yeah. Because I know it puts spin on, doesn't it put a, like a, a, a spin on your yarn when you cake it up? Maybe. Okay, if y'all have done that, let me know what you think and how mm -hmm. you've done it. Because it's all the same, you know, yeah, each of these are the same yeah, same thing. Fiber, so. It's 1,100 yards on each skein. You might not be able to do one yeah, each cake. Maybe I could do like a 500 yeah. gram and a, you know, yeah. 550 and a 550. But yeah, won't that be pretty? That's, that's glowing. It is. I like that a lot. It's just so, so pretty. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yay. So the uh, the other thing is we did get to do my birthday this weekend. Yes. It was so much fun. Uh my husband asked me what I wanted. And I said, I just want a big dinner and have all the kids and grandkids there and a couple friends were able to come too. So um and we did. All the kids got to dress yes. up. The fun thing was all of them, whoever I knit a sweater for, wore their sweaters. So mm -hmm. there was a lot of sweaters that I knit a long time ago. And mm -hmm. I'm like, no, oh, because younger siblings Pass were them wearing them. Uh -huh. And uh, it was so much fun. Yes. So you grandmas out there, nanas, GGs, honeys, whatever, that is a wonderful thing to do. And I asked them to uh, tell me like one sweet memory they have, mm -hmm. we, that they have of us doing something together. So some of them did it there and some of them uh, did it privately. So oh, it was just yeah. really sweet. And some, I mean, some of them you just wouldn't, you know, go into the games and mm -hmm. uh, riding in the car to games mm -hmm. and dinner at the table yes. and, you yes. know, just all that fun stuff. Uh, snow days when we got to, I mean, not that we didn't stay home because we homeschooled, <laughs> but when we just got to sit and by the fire and mm -hmm. read stories and books and, you know. Yeah. All the fun stuff. So All it was a lot of fun. Yeah. And we, we, I didn't have to cook. My children didn't have to cook. We didn't have to clean up. <laughs> and we got thing. lots of different cakes. And they brought yes. that. And it was so much fun. Yeah. So, um, yeah. It was at a restaurant in town. That yeah. Just, it was amazing. Yeah. It was so good. It's always. And I'm like, yeah, we need to do this about mm -hmm. every five every years year. or so. Okay. Well, every year would be nice. But I don't know about that. <laughs> five, every five years. Yes. So if you can do that, yeah. that's a lot of yeah. fun. It is being able to celebrate and just, yeah, 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 yeah. So, anything else going on? I don't think so. Uh, I think Aunt, it was Amber that said she's doing a mal, a make along, mm -hmm. where she's going to try and do one Christmas thing every month. Oh, and see that hat could have been, but he needs it yeah, now. He does. He does. He does. So, and that's my problem. Is I <laughs> knit stuff and then it's like, oh here, but you yes, need it now. Need it. <laughs> so I don't know that I could actually do that. But it is but she it's said the main idea. point. Yeah, it is an excellent. And yeah. she said the main point of it was so that everybody could see what everybody else was doing and we could get ideas. Oh, that's which smart. is an excellent idea. Yeah. So go watch Amber because she mm -hmm. talks about it there. A lovely yarn. A lovely yarn. Um and the other what oh, I I gave that uh the last sweater that I made, the red and blue. Yes. And somebody asked me why I didn't just contact the company, Malabrigo, and tell them because I needed the yarn. I'd already yeah. knit it and I wasn't gonna, you know, undo that to get new yarn to redo it. Yeah. So uh and then I needed it for the second sweater, the cardigan, because it was a Christmas gift. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have time to wait on it and blah blah blah. Yeah. So um, and it was, you know, we're all human. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it was just an oversight, um, you know, a step missed because Katie has the same yarn mm -hmm. and hers is not doing that at all. No, I, I haven't like, but it's not on your fingers. Yeah, no. Yeah. Not. See, mine was, I should have known at that point. And that was one of the reason I was, I didn't mean anything. I don't mean anything against Mel I love mm -hmm. the yarn. I use it all the time. Yeah. But if you if you are knitting with a yarn and it mm -hmm. is coming off on your fingers, there's a problem. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. and feel free to contact the company or the, right. I was hoping kind of that the store would say, oh, bring it in and let us redo. And had they still been the skeins, yeah. that's what I would have done. Yeah, just I said, switch them out. Yeah, switch these out. Yeah. But they weren't. I'd already caked it up. Yeah. So I probably would do that individual skeins, one cake, mm -hmm. try it, see, and then go from there. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's good to be back. Yes. Thank you yes. all for visiting with us. Thank, Thank you. you for supporting us. Mm -hmm. um, 
it's it's yeah this Same is our happy space yeah, yeah just yeah we 45 minutes of yeah. just time, time. It's very yeah generous precious. yeah yeah and we feel very blessed to have this. Yes. So thank yes, you all. Yeah. I hope you all are finding tons of joy in your knitting. Yes. And if not knitting, yeah, <laughs> something else, something <laughs> else right now. Reading. Reading. <laughs> That's right. Uh, you know what? Though the sun was out yesterday, it was glorious. Yes, it was. It was glorious. Yeah. It was still a little chilly, mm -hmm. but I mean, just the sun mm -hmm. was so. It, sweet. I didn't realize how cloudy it's been until yes. I saw the sun, and I was like. <gasps> Isn't that so funny? Because mm -hmm. it's like that every single year. Mm -hmm. It's not like this is a new phenomenon. Right. It's like every, you know, end of December, mm -hmm. January, most yeah. of January and February. And I've seen people talk about like, I don't know if you're like this, but the desire to kind of like slow down in the winter, yes. kind of almost like a hibernating sort yes. of like feeling. And it's like, yeah, I get that every, yes. you know, December, January, February, yes. just kind of like, okay, let's yeah. all stay in, yeah. and let's get cozy, yeah. and let's bake, yes. and just kind of, yeah. and then I, the sun comes up, and you're like, oh, okay, let's go. Let's, let's go, go outside. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Put on all your woolies. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, exactly. I am venturing into the sourdough. I made two loaves Yay. and I'm feeding, feeding, feeding my sourdough. So I think <laughs> it's just right. I need to figure out the rhythm of mm -hmm. it. You because, can put it in the fridge. Yeah. And I do have some discard in the fridge, okay. which yeah. is not really discard. It's just stuff that's not in my active jar. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I saw somebody was saying, we need to rename that because it's not like discard. discard. Yeah. It's, yeah. You know, it's good. Yeah. It's, it's usable. Exactly. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I think I'll love it. I think it's supposed to be gent more gentle on your... Yeah. your Especially depending on the stomach. flowers you use. Yes. Like, I think einkorn is supposed yeah. to be really good. I don't really. haven't used that. But. I haven't either. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, so, so I used to, in another lifetime, grind my own wheat and then make wheat bread like that. once a week like five yeah. loaves at a time and I mean we would and I make cinnamon bread yes. remember that? oh I remember that yeah that was so good so and I smell yeah I mean it was mm -hmm. and, but yeah. I mean it was yeah. yeah I mean it just makes me want to yeah. start it kind of sort of but not so much <laughs> yeah but I do like that when mm -hmm. I'm and you know the kids were little then and we weren't out and about so much yeah. so I had the time to do it and yeah. then they got busy and then I, I didn't have time mm -hmm. because I was their main chauffeur right right so, but That's yeah, so yeah, I do like the home, yeah, home tending stuff yes. for sure. Yes, yes, I do too. I love my knitting too. Mm -hmm. So I hope y'all are loving it, yes. finding some joy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hopefully, we'll be back in the next week or so. Yes, yeah. yes. Happy knitting. Happy knitting. <laughs>